In this short video, we will discuss selective IgA deficiency. There will be some questions at the end of the video. Selective IgA deficiency is a primary immunodeficiency disorder with an unknown cause. It is the most common primary immunodeficiency disorder. The majority of patients with selective IgA deficiency are asymptomatic. Patients with selective IgA deficiency may experience airway and gastrointestinal infections. Autoimmune disease and atopy may also occur in some patients. Anaphylaxis to IgA in blood products can also be seen in some patients. Patients with selective IgA deficiency have normal levels of IgG and IgM. This condition results in a selective deficiency of IgA only. Patients with selective IgA deficiency may have a susceptibility to giardiasis, an intestinal infection caused by a parasite. Selective IgA deficiency can cause false negative celiac disease tests. This is because the tests for celiac disease rely on the measurement of IgA antibodies, which are deficient in these patients. We covered all the points that are in the first aid book. Let's try some questions, shall we? A 25-year-old woman presents with recurrent respiratory infections, including sinusitis and pneumonia. Laboratory studies show a selective deficiency of IgA. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Common variable immunodeficiency. B. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. C. Selective IgM deficiency. D. Selective IgA deficiency. E. Hyper-IgE syndrome. Answer. B. Selective IgA deficiency. Why not C? Because in XLA, all immunoglobins are low or absent, not just IgA. A 32-year-old man presents with a history of recurrent diarrhea, bloating, and weight loss. Laboratory studies show negative celiac disease serology. A stool sample is positive for Giardia lamblia. Which of the following immunodeficiencies should be considered in this patient? A. Common variable immunodeficiency. B. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. C. Selective IgM deficiency. D. Selective IgA deficiency. E. Hyper-IgE syndrome. Answer. D. Selective IgA deficiency. Selective IgA deficiency is prone to parasite infection. A 30-year-old patient with a history of autoimmune disease presents to the emergency room with difficulty breathing, wheezing, and hives shortly after receiving a blood transfusion. The patient reports similar symptoms occurring after previous blood transfusions. Laboratory studies show a selective deficiency of IgA. What is the most likely cause of the patient's symptoms? A. Atopy. B. Autoimmune disease. C. Airway infection. D. Anaphylaxis to EGA in blood products. E. GI infection. The answer is D. Anaphylaxis to IgA in blood products. The patient's symptoms of difficulty breathing, wheezing, and hives shortly after receiving a blood transfusion suggest an allergic reaction to one of the components in the blood product. Since the patient has a selective deficiency of IgA, they may have developed an anaphylactic reaction to IgA in the transfused blood product. Other options, atopy, autoimmune disease, airway infection, and GI infection, are less likely to cause anaphylactic reactions to blood products. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.